when talking about the difference between a cervical disc replacement and a cervical fusion, I oftentimes get asked, what will happen when my neck is fused? What kind of loss of motion can I expect? The dynamics of the cervical spine are such that most of your motion is actually in the upper levels, it's particularly side to side motion and up and down motion. Occasionally C1 or C2 needs to be fused in the setting of a fracture, um, but rarely do these need to be fused when someone has degenerative disc disease or disc herniations or common neck surgery. Usually the levels that need to be fused in neck surgery are either four, five, five, six, and six, seven. Occasionally three, four. When one of these levels are fused, I tell my patients to expect about a 10% loss in their range of motion, both side to side and up and down. Um, that's, a, that's a little bit more the higher up you go and maybe a little bit less the farther down you go. In my experience, uh, people that have a one or two level fusion in the lower part of the neck really don't notice much at all of a, of a, uh, of a decrease in their range of motion.